Okay, so in this video, what I want to look at is I've got a nested if. And essentially what I want to do, I've got a number of conditions here. I want to identify, okay, what are once off? So things like induction courses and so on, I need to do them. Right. Another one would be if the current one, the renewal date is more than 30 days from today, overdue if the renewal date is before today, and then due for renewal, renewal if that renewal date is coming up within the next 30 days. So click here, uh, go to logical, go to if. So I just begin by saying that if the attendance date is equal to the renewal date, up down the value true, that's going to be a once off. Press F4 to fix it. I then need to bring in a second if function. And this one, what I'm going to say is that if the renewal date, okay, is um, before or on today, right, if that is the case, that is going to be overdue, F4. And then the next one then is going to be, is that if, another if function, is that if the renewal date is less than or equal to today, plus 30, and that's the F4 up here. If that's the case then, it's going to be due for renewal, which is here, F4. Otherwise, they're all going to be current, F4, and then click OK. Press enter. Okay, so you can see there, um, the date of writing is actually, I'm gonna change this here now. So it's the fifth of the first. Okay, so you can see there, that's the date here. You can see that one is actually current. Okay, this one is due for renewal. It's coming up in 30 days. This has gone past and these two are once off ones. All right. Um, now, another approach we can take is to use the, more modern function, which is the IFS function. Okay. And particularly if you have Office 365, this is probably an easier option. Go to formulas, go to logical, and I'll just go down here to ifs. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of break this down again. So I'm gonna say if my attendance date is equal to my renewal date, all right, if that's true, that's going to be a once off, F4. Okay, then identify the next one. I'm going to say that if my renewal date is less than or equal to today, open bracket, close bracket. Okay, that's going to mean that it's going to be overdue, F4. Next one then is going to be, is that if the renewal date okay, is less than or equal to today, plus 30 up here, F4, right? That means that it's going to be overdue. Sorry, that it's, sorry, due for renewal. F4. And the last one that we just need to tweak this a little bit, which is basically say is that if the renewal date is greater than or equal to today uh, plus this one here, so it's kind of it's out in the future, in that case then it's going to be current. F4. And you can see there I get exactly the same results again. So the only problem is though is that with using this one is that if you do it this way um, it just means that you are kind of stuck with um, you know if you want to send to somebody who is kind of an older version of Excel this particular function won't work but you can see there it actually kind of has a clear sort of logic to it in some ways okay so um, I hope you found this useful mind yourself take care and of course don't forget the way I got the conformatting is that I went to home conditional formatting I let sales rules I said equal to example this one here current and then I just chose my green fill with dark green text here and so on All right, so I just use my conditional formatting with these kind of legend up here to identify it hope you find this useful mind yourself take care bye